okay, I call this slide type of acceleration. They give some parallel construction with a different slide called types of forces. Now, there's really only one type of acceleration that we've talked about so far. Um, we've talked about constant acceleration. Um, and that's a really important type. Uh, for example, gravity near Earth or any other planet, it turns out, is a constant. But there is another really important type of acceleration that I want to talk about now. And um, it's the kind of acceleration that's not speeding up or slowing down. This particular kind of acceleration um, is turning. And it's not just any turning, but turning in a circle and doing so at constant speed. So at any point, you can imagine that there's some radius from the center and traveling at instantaneous velocity v. OK, so this is the acceleration for turning, basically. Now, before I give you the name of this thing, um, I want to talk a little bit about a derivation so we can write down what this position vector is, right? And if this uh, vector has some position vector has some distance uh, from the center r, then we can say that the position vector um, is some r uh, times some x component. So some x component might mean cosine of some angle times i hat plus r times some y component times j hat, i hat and j hat. So this is the position vector. Now what's inside of these parentheses? This is actually um, a topic that we're going to cover later. Uh, it's actually in a different quarter here at Western Washington University. So, um, But for now, what you should know is that this angle here is increasing with time, right? And it means that it has to do 2 pi radians um, every time it does one period. So if you stop the video and think about this for a little bit, you can imagine that as it goes through half of a period, where a period is, dis is defined as the time it takes to do a whole rotation, then that would be only pi. If it does a whole thing, then it's 2 pi. If it does two whole things, uh, then it would be 4 pi, and so on. And so just go with me on this one for the moment, that what's inside here is 2 pi over the period times time, 2 pi over the period times time. Okay, so if this is the position vector, let's call it maybe r, then we can have um, a velocity vector, and the velocity vector v is equal to the time derivative of r, and the, val the magnitude of the, director of, the, of the vector is the same because it's going around in a circle with constant speed. So to take the time derivative of its components, what you do is you just write down um, the r out front, and then you have a sine of something uh, times i hat plus r times something times cosine of that thing times j hat. And the derivative of cosine is a minus sine, so we'll put a minus sine out front. And the derivative of sine is a positive cosine, which is what we have here. And then what's inside is unchanged, but to take the derivative of it, to take the derivative of it, we're going to take the derivative of what's inside and put it out front. So the derivative of what's inside is 2 pi over this period, which is just a number, and 2 pi over this period, which is just a number. Now, you have to have gotten pretty far in a calculus class to have seen this. Um, so if this is new to you, don't worry about it too much. We're, we're almost to the point we need to be, which is, remember, oh yeah, that's right, ha, finding acceleration. So the acceleration vector is just another time derivative. So we'll play this game again, and we get negative r, and we're going to take another derivative, so we're going to have a 2 pi over the period that comes out again. This time it's cosine 2 pi over t times r i hat plus r, and now another 2 pi over t squared sine 2 pi over t times time j hat. 
And now we check the derivative of sine is cosine, so that's fine. Then the derivative of cosine is uh, minus sine. So we'll go ahead and take this minus sign out and put a negative sign in here. Now, if you're starting to get bleary-eyed, um, go ahead and check back in with me because what we see here is that, wait a second, we just have the R and the cosine and an R and a sine. Well, that's just what we started with, right? That's just what we started with. So now we have um, it's a minus and a 2 pi over the period squared times that vector r. Well, what's 2 pi over the period? What 2 pi um, over the period is, we notice that the velocity of something is just 2 pi r over the period. That's just what it means. Speed is the distance you cover divided by time. So this is just equal to the magnitude of the acceleration is just equal to almost v squared, almost, uh, divided by one factor of r. And it's in the direction of minus r. And what do we mean by that? Aha, this means inward. This means inward, inward. And this has the special name centripetal. And centripetal means inward. Okay.